si chiama Franco CFA. È la moneta coloniale che la Francia stampa per 14 nazioni africane alla quale applica, alle quali applica il signoraggio e in forza delle quali sfrutta le risorse di questa nazione. Questo è un bambino che lavora in una miniera d'oro in Burkina Faso. Il Burkina Faso è una delle nazioni più povere del mondo. Per il Burkina Faso che ha l'oro, la Francia stampa moneta coloniale. In cambio pretende che finiscano nelle casse del tesoro francese il 50% di tutto quello che il Burkina Faso esporta. L'oro che questo bambino si infila in un cunicolo per tirare fuori finisce per lo più nelle casse dello Stato francese. Allora la soluzione non è prendere gli africani e spostarli in Europa, la soluzione è liberare l'Africa da certi europei che la sfruttano e consentire a queste persone di vivere di quello che hanno. Italy Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni blames France for Africa's hardship. Following the coup in Niger Republic, more interesting news has emerged from Europe. Today, we shall discuss a shocking statement by Italy's Prime Minister about one of the most powerful countries in the world, France. If you are ready, let's find out why the young politician is putting a finger at France. Most African countries got their independence from France, especially those in West Africa, including Niger, Burkina Faso, the Ivory Coast, Benin Republic, and Mali. All these countries use a similar currency, the CFA franc. The interesting thing is that the Central Bank of France prints this currency. Additionally, France mandates these countries to deposit their currency reserves in the French Central Bank. Therefore, France controls the flow of money in its former colonies. So, France appears to retain more significant influence over these countries than any other country that colonized Africa. Another point raised by the Prime Minister is the issue of raw materials and resources among these countries in the Sahel region. Countries like Mali and Niger are the main suppliers of rare materials such as uranium and gold to France and other European countries. Emmanuel Macron ci ha definiti vomitevoli, cinici, irresponsabili. E qui la stampa italiana a dire, hai eh, visto che ha detto Macron, che siamo irresponsabili. Sono quelli che hanno bombardato la Libia perché gli dava fastidio che l'Italia avesse un rapporto privilegiato in campo energetico con Gheddafi, esponendoci al caos migrazione nel quale ci troviamo. E il 30% dell'uranio che gli serve a far camminare le centrali nucleari e il 90% dei nigerini vive senza... There is a widespread belief that over 35% of light bulbs in France are powered by uranium obtained from the Niger Republic. Still, approximately 80% of the people in the African nation don't have access to electricity. According to media reports, Niger buys electricity from Nigeria. Since uranium was discovered in Niger, more than 60% of the ore has been exported to France through one of its companies, Oriva, a nuclear power company, for over 30 years. Therefore, France has created almost a monopoly on accessing natural resources from its former colony. Given the economic value of uranium, it is right to assume that any country that exports it will earn massive revenue from the process. However, the situation in Niger is different because uranium exports contribute a little over 5% to its GDP in three decades. It is common knowledge that Niger remains one of the protest countries in Africa. Conversely, France has not shown any significant commitment to the country's development, according to Italy's Prime Minister. Another case study in Mali. The country's relationship with France was necessary because of its strategic location and vast natural resources. It was an extensive partnership but has deteriorated recently for many reasons. You should keep watching as we dive into the issues in Mali. The French government promised Mali economic prosperity and security aid. But Mali, like Niger, has valuable natural resources such as gold. Nonetheless, the country remains impoverished. France also maintains a strong grip on the country's cash flow since its independence. The French central bank controls the printing of the country's currency. They also control major exported materials and pay less than appropriate returns on these materials. The Malian authorities also highlighted the failure of the French government to honor the military agreement between both countries. 
Mali has military bases in the northern part of the country due to the defense agreement between them and France. However, major disagreements began when the French military left these bases without informing their host. Also, the Malian Prime Minister accused France of influencing sanctions from the economic community of West African states Chekowa's bloc against Mali. The increasing disagreement with France has led the government to seek a new partner in Russia. While a section of foreign media claims Mali is making a mistake in abandoning France, many people are celebrating the significant success the country has enjoyed against the terrorists in the country since its partnership with Russia. You can read more about the issues in Mali however, it remains to be seen how long and fruitful this partnership will become in the coming years. Another point raised by Prime Minister Meloni is the purported imposition of a colonial tax ostensibly tied to the rewards gained from colonization. Are you surprised? Well, it implies that all newly independent countries must reimburse the expense incurred by France for infrastructure built during the colonial era. You may think that these expenses will be minimal. Still, it poses a significant financial strain on the economies of these countries, including Benin, Burkina Faso, Guinea-Bissau, Ivory Coast, Mali, Niger, Senegal, Togo, Central African Republic, Chad, Congo, Gabon, and Cameroon. It is worth mentioning that no other country requires such from its former colonies. Although the Prime Minister's statement is a few years old, recent events in Guinea, Mali, Burkina Faso, and now Niger have shed light on it. While she may not seem to like the French government led by Emmanuel Macron, her speech raises valid points. It is no secret that Niger's President Mohamed Bozoum is an ally of France and the EU and has helped them enjoy more freedom in the country. So, his subsequent removal from power has them angrily shaking in their boots. Also, his overthrow may cause a slight worry because of possible Russian association with the military junta in the country. Considering the moves made by Burkina Faso and Malian military leaders to make Russia their main ally, it won't be a surprise if the ones in Niger follow a similar path. So, what have France, the European Union, and the United States done? Expectedly, they have imposed economic sanctions, suspended military aid, and plans an additional embargo on the country. While the West and allies of President Bazoum hate the political situation in the country, the citizens appear to be excited because they are on the streets jubilating and refusing the call of President Bazoum to protest against the military. Do you think that Prime Minister Meloni is right about France? Let us know in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting updates. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.